All right. Hey guys, I uh, had a new idea for a little series that I could do, uh, more kind of geared towards YouTube. Most of my games that I produce uh, are Soda Q based and purely for um, Soda Q and mainly for educational purposes. But this one could be kind of fun. This is one of my accounts that is Diamond 2 at the moment on EU West. Uh, it has had a couple of games in flex, like uh, about two or three, and it's in bronze two in the placements. But I thought we could do some fill in flex. So I used to play mid lane back in season one, season two, um, quite a lot. I used to be part of a UK team and we went over to South Korea and Poland and stuff to take part in a couple of tournaments. Um, and then I used to play AD a little bit in season three, and now I'm a support main. So you know me as a support main. My jungle and my top lane experience aren't great at all, so this could be a good way to learn how to play top lane at least a little bit. As my my champion knowledge is pretty bad. Uh, what we'll be doing is I'll try and play champions that I've never played before. Like I don't play Aram much, so or, or barely at all. Only when I get dragged in sometimes by viewers. So my familiarity with a lot of these champions in the other roles are pretty dire. So I'll do my best. But it could be an entertaining series. I want to see if I can climb up to Diamond, at least, being in Phil. And hopefully we don't get given support too much. Um, but, you know, if you are interested in this series, as Jesse has just said in Twitch chat, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you're watching on Twitch as well, don't forget to follow uh, if you like educational support content as well. Um, so, yeah, this could be kind of fun. A little bit of an adventure for me. So, yeah, Phil and Flex. Phil and Flex. Yes, this has been inspired by people mentioning constantly that Ross Boomsox has been doing a Phil in Soda Cube, but I don't want to. Um, I haven't. I don't want to level up another account, nor do I want to buy an account in order to do that. So I think Flex Flex games still can be quite decent. So. And it's probably a safer learning tool than Soda Q as well, because Flex is not as serious as Soda Q, but it's still more so serious than, than normal games. So we'll see. Just notice that my, my timer here is not here. My whole right hand side of the client is woof. But I uh, have no idea what I'm going to play. I try and like, tr I've got every single champion on this account and every, well, 99% of the skins, so I don't have to worry about that. But the main concern is just playing the champions in general and not getting flamed. We'll see. Let's see. So we've been given AD carry. Okay, and that's a role that I have some familiarity with. As you've probably seen on the YouTube channel, sometimes I play AD carry. So we can do something here for sure. Uh, maybe take something a little bit out of my comfort zone a bit. I don't think I'm ready, like, mentally anyway to play Aphelia since there's a million different things going on there. Um, but what do you think, chat? What do you think we should play um, as AD carry for the first game of our Flex in Phil? Phil in Flex. There we go. It's going to take a while. Phil in Flex. Twitch, Lucian, Draven. <laughs> Jigs, Yasuo, Caitlyn. Restana. Okay, there's a few options there. Let's get rid of Blitzcrank. Let me see. Do I have an AD carry rune tree? I'll be using probably pro builds in order to figure out what runes to take, especially in roles I'm not familiar in at all. So Tristana is an option that's been mentioned a few times. It would be nice if we know what they've taken on the bot lane down here. A Kale and a Zed. Oh gosh. Draven or Tristana chat? What do you think then? We'll go we'll go with one of those two. Should we do Tristana? I don't want to completely in on my first go through. Let's be I think Tristana's in the lead. Alright, we'll do Trist. We'll do the Penku skin. Okay. Now, what is the meta in terms of Tristana builds? So we've got a Soraka on our team. We should have an okay amount of healing. Uh, let's have a press the attack. Seems pretty strong. It seems a lot of people have been playing Tristana mid. Let's see. 
Yeah, press the attack seems to be the most common theme here. So we'll do press the attack, overheal, bloodline, coup, and every AD carry you should take Stimbus Cloak and Gathering Storm. We're going to need that attack speed and the adaptive force. And oh, they took Sorak on the other team. We got a Yumi. Yumi, let's go. I'm ready. We have to buy an execution as ourselves quite early here. Both teams will want one. Soraka healing could be a problem if you take cues. Just try not to take any Soraka cues here. Maybe try and hit level 2 first and then go super aggro early onto them. Although the DPS from Soraka will be way more than the Yumi. But my DPS compared to the Ezreal will be higher. Oh, Yumi. Take Ignite, please. Oh no, my chat's not working and she's got flash. That's how you know when we're in the uh, lower ELOs now. <laughs> Yumi has flash. Okay. Alrighty then. Not a problem. I'm ready for this. This is this is my this problem's on me. Um you know. Ta da Something you've never seen before, Yumi with Flash. Okay. I actually think the Yumi's in gold right now. Must be a mistake. I've made that mistake before. Not gonna hold hold too much of a grudge there. It does suck that we don't have an Ignite against the bot lane. I think we could have potentially got a kill as well because if I hide my camera, the Soraka has barrier, Ezra has teleport, so we could have gone pretty ham. Engage on them super early here. Um, but okay. We've got two cats on our team. Feline power, maybe. But usually with Tristana, you want to go really, really aggro level 2. Like, I'll try it and see if we can get level 2 advantage and then play through that. Might work. We'll see. Um, I'll go Doran's Blade, I'd imagine, first. What kind of build shall we go chat? Any advice and anyone in Twitch that wants to throw anything at me here? Um, what is a good build? Infinity Edge Brush maybe with a um, Rapid Fire Cannon sound good maybe? I think Infinity Edge Rapid Fire Cannon is probably the most meta thing I can do. I know there's a lot of people that have been doing Blade of the Ring King, but I think that's for solo lane. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been picking Kristana mid lately on those pro builds. There's some people that go Blade of the Ring King first item. Maybe we could do that first. What do you think, chat? Crit build or sustain build? Storm Razor's first item for Trist. I know one on that list that I've seen has taken a Storm Razor. Crit? Crit. Alright, we do tons of damage. We get tons, tons and tons of damage. We do we do IE, rapid fire cannon, um, and then like four more infinity edges. We'll just strap them to our foreheads, it'll be fine. You know what well, <laughs> another thing about in low ELO I have uh, realized as well is that the loading times are toaster. <laughs> and what I mean by that, it seems like everyone's playing on a toaster. We'll do Doran's Blade. If we have to do like a weird early recall, then I'll buy another Doran's. Right, let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can carry. I can get another jump reset here. Nice. Brilliant start. That's what's so good about Triss level 1 like that. If you get the resets through, then it's amazing. I'm not staying, my dude. Nah, Rengar shouldn't have stayed. He, um, he had money to buy. He got first blood, I think. No, really it did, but he got a kill, so he got 300. And I think at least... 
another bit of gold. So you probably got about 400 gold then. That was a very good start. <laughs> We've got kills, good even kill distribution as well. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh no, they're spamming mastery modes. You need Mr. Q. I might have to mute them. I'm not sure I want to listen to 50 mastery emote spams. We won't be level 2 ahead of them because I had to take W level 1. sure about the exhaust use there but it's fine oh didn't mean to tank that Q but avoid tanking as many Soraka Qs as possible missed a little CS there no all right I need to chill Whew. relax miss another CS breathe all right we got the cannon minion good Got the main big boy. Wow, I'm missing a lot of CS. And legit, like... I'm trolling myself so hard. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got creep blocked a little bit there with the path thing. I'm letting the minions farm. Yes, they do need gold. Would like to see my melee minions have some infinity edges if possible. Yeah, I've been tanking too many Sarafi Qs as well. We've managed to get a bit too much back in the lane. A whole year. I mean, we we have heal over them. I need her to attach to me if we're actually going to commit to go in. Thank you, Moogle. if she has any heals. I'm missing so much CS. It's actually insane. I have legit no idea why. Don't usually have any trouble CSing. Maybe it's just the nerves. I want this turret placing. Yumi exhaust is about to come up. I think it's also partially I'm not used to the Tristana, like, that explosion. See, so, yeah, I got the Knight of CS there. Push, 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 push. Need a reset. I can get a BF sword. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. I'm not happy with my CS. I've got the most CS in the game, but I've, I've no I've missed so much. I should be on like 50 right now. I'm fully aware of how much CS I've lost. Uh, I would like to go like 
executioners, but because we can just buy BF sword, it's quite hard to get that amount of gold in one go. You mean he was late for her Uber, so I ditched her. <laughs> okay. You just left my Yumi. Nah, she left me. She was too slow. Alright, we got all of our summoners back up. Now we'll have flashes and barrier back. Ezra used TP. Start it pushing a bit. The Kazix is on this side of the river. They're not really chasing in our jungle that deep, are they? Feeling the uh, the attack speed. The lack of attack speed is making it hard to see CS as well. Should maybe pop my Q a little bit more. Nice, that's level 6. Seds down here. Damn it, I wanted that kill. <laughs> I didn't need to flash there at all. Just wanted the kill. There's that activity going on in that blue. Another turret plating. Yumi's going over to help. I just want the, the CS and just push in. It's, it's too deep for my liking. They seem to be doing okay. Mm, nah. We'll go back and get maybe. Yeah, it is too deep, like I said. Thinking like either tier 2 boots here or pickaxe. I can't really decide which one I want. Um. I guess that gives us more attack speed. Still. Getting pretty close to Infinity Edge now. Since you have a problem with the last hitting, last hitting the minion start with the E on the last mob, when the mob dies it will detonate anyway. Yeah, I, I understand how the, the Trist E works. It's just, I think it's more nerves. Like, even though it's leak, still. Like, I've never done like a series before, so. First, first series nerves here, I think. Doing a uh, flex, fill in flex series. It's quite exciting, but scary at the same time. Should be buying an execution as I'm doing a big disservice to every single support. By not buying one against the Soraka, but we're doing all right. Boom. Yumi's doing an all right job. I could like jump W. Wait. Nah. Yeah, that's why I didn't go in. We got another heal coming soon. Thank you. I was thinking about like tower diving the Ezreal than there is, so I'd probably die. There's a TP coming through. Thank you, Aurelia. Really. 
I don't want to stay. I've got no HP. Got Infinity Edge. And I've got Titty Boots. Let's see. There's a big CS grouping up here. We should just go to. It already is bot. And she's not going to be able to get up to topside anytime soon. Kale went bot. The only person I really I need to be aware of their assassins actually. The Kazix and the Zed are the two scariest for me. So need to be very afraid. But the more turret platings we can get, the better. I just need to keep a very close eye on this game. If he moves, then. Oof. There's already movement going. Ezreal's TPing top. Okay, hi. Hi, my bug friend. At least three top right now. At least. Don't know where Zed is. Hey, it's okay, Demon. No! If only, if only we got more crits. Damn. Needed more crits there. I'm surprised the cow didn't have ulti for, uh, to save her there. But yeah, it's a shame we didn't get to survive. But it's a nice little double kill nonetheless. Two people dead on the map as well. Gives us a good chance to get map objectives as well. I'm going to try and get to mid. Don't think we'll get any turret platings. 30 seconds. Yeah, by the time I get to mid. Yeah, we won't get it. If we had like 10 more seconds. Oh, no, no. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We, we can get one. Come on, come on, come on. I will flash for this if I have to. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. Get another one. No! The fighting fall off! No! Thank you. <laughs> Easy. I knew that would happen. I think Zed Flash ignited for me as well, though, right? It's definitely the ignite. Oof. Going to that one extra 180. Sorry, 160 gold on the turret plating. I'm going to soak up all that farm, get the core build in as quickly as possible, and just wreck on that. I'm feeling a 0.02 attack speed buff. No. I haven't played Tristan that much. I know she did get buffed. Oh, missed the kind of minion, guys. I wonder if I could kill them both. Should I try? I'm feeling lucky. I might wait until Sarka puts down a Q. Ah, they're too scared of me. If I had Zeal, this would be a bit easier. No. Whoa. No. No, the Soraka lived and then they get the job reset. I might ask if we can borrow Yumi. She's trying to 1v2. She hasn't got enough though. If she had an ulti, she nah. Yeah, that's a shame that we lost her like that. No. Still no grievous wounds, I know. 
The healing actually hasn't been that bad, but now the Sorok can get a um, Athene's on Holy Ground now. That, now we'll start to feel the heals come through. 50% crit now. We'll definitely pick it up after Rapid Fire Cannon. I promise. I promise, guys. Yeah, I wasn't too sure what the Yumi was trying, trying for there, but it's okay. It's okay. We're in a good position still. Just maybe... Ooh. Gotta get those cannon minions. I'm gonna try and pick her up. Come here. Get over here. Why did you ever leave me? She left me when the, the Aridia TP down. She never came back. But I didn't have to do a big play though. It's not her fault. Okay. No, get him. Oh my god, sense there as well. Uh I feel like I could have done slightly better there. Lux is in a lot of trouble. Eesh. Rapid fire cannon or executioners. Let's get the executioners in. Alright, we'll do it. Already in the meantime, has been doing really well top. If I had Grievous wins, yeah, if I had Grievous wins that time, as I said, the Athenes and Holy Grail was definitely a factor then. Although, not getting a crit. Put me in the seal. I don't know. Yes and no at the same time. But we got, Gr we got Grievous Wounds now. So now it's easy mode. No, panic averted. We'll probably go Phantom Dance the next because of the Zed. The right it's a shame that Kazakh stealth lasts for so long. Because uh, if we could have popped him sooner, that would have been nice. Hit this. Oh, Yumi's got Arden now. Lovely. Dragon's up now. We'll go for Dragon. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Get on. Oi! Yes, I got a control. Oh, I got a cannon minion. Beautiful. There's a Herald popping up. We should go for it. Oh, it's not. It's a Baron. Wow, I thought this was way earlier in the game. Baron's actually up now. Didn't really want to flash. Maybe we can chase him. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't really want to have to waste flash doing that. Said you salty. Nah, I'm not gonna chase it. I really don't want to use my flash. Ever. Does Yumi count on you as isolation? I actually legit don't know the answer to that question. I should know, but I don't. That's worth a Google search, I think. Uh, 
We'll actually go more to Reminder. Saving Flash for turret paintings? Yep, exactly. You're not isolated when Yumi's on you? Oh, okay, so she needs to actually detach. Yeah, I didn't know that. I've played against many Kha'Zix lately, actually. Should just do the Baron. I'm happy to. Their red buff spawning shortly. <laughs> I don't know why Yubi's trying to. Outplay Z, that was very, very scary for everyone involved. But they managed to clean up anyway. I got a lot of damage down. This Yumi's brave. Like, she doesn't care at all about going in. She's got uh, big Yumi cat hairballs. Attach, my friend. Attach. It's okay. We'll guide her. We'll, we'll show her the way. We'll get this red buff and then just want to do Baron. We're in a really good position just to take the Baron and end the game. I just realized I didn't have Yumi. Oh. <laughs> I legit thought I had Yumi on me though, because why I went kind of crazy in. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we'll pick up some more crit when we can. Or well, we could do Blood Thirster actually. The Yumi's heals aren't coming through because she's not attaching to me. Yeah, I'll probably go like either Bloodthirster or Blade of the Ring King. Some sort of self efficient healing. Got Ocean Drake coming up soon. If we get an Ocean Soul, that will be pretty self sustaining. Where is Yumi right now? Wow. They're going pretty crazy. Don't end the game without me, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe I can jump into the base. If I get a big crit on the Zed, I think I can kill him here. Where is he? Where is he? Sorry about the cars, it's jumping in from behind. It's Baron and them guys. It's getting a little bit for history. Was he filled? Yes! We're doing fill in flex. Welcome to the very first episode. So we speak a Baron. We could reset. I can imagine the Iridia and the Yumi wouldn't have much to recall for here, but we all should reset. A lot of us are sitting on a lot of gold. Yumi's on the Iridia still. I bought a red pot. I think I'm going to take this down to bot side. I don't think we should be A ramming it down mid. Oh, hi. Hi, little bug man. 
He's still in that brush. <laughs> okay. Do you think he can kill me 1v1? Do you think you can kill me 1v1, guys? I think you might have a chance. I've got the Vampiric Scepter and a Red Pot, so that should help with the healing at least. Seems like our team has taken the ARAM option. It's okay, team. I'll bring the minions over. Ditched me forever, chat. She doesn't love me anymore. That was a good hit there on the Zed. Mid and hips respawning soon. I got a hit on. Do we go in? Do we win? We win? Let's get him! Get him! Uh oh, where's that? GG. <laughs> nice, not a bad start to the series, is it? With a win. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and keep up with this series as best as I can with this fill in flex. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we'll try and get at least a high diamond with this. Um, I'll be playing as many different champions as possible uh, in every role that I get. So, um, I mean, I haven't played Trisana for ages, I don't think. Maybe, maybe if I have played her once, maybe this season, maybe. But I haven't, I've probably done like no more than 10 games on Tristana in my last six years. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. This will be going up onto YouTube, and if you are watching for YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and click the thumbs up and, you know, touch the bell and stuff, all that good stuff. And if you are watching for Twitch and you are enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit the follow button as well. Um, I don't think I can honor the aggro, <laughs> Yumi. <laughs> she is pretty aggressive. I think Iridia was the unsung hero there. She did really well topside. Look at that, bronze one. We're in bronze one, we're starting out this off in. How was my damage that game? Number one. Alrighty then. So supports can play AD carry chat. Alright. Let's uh, see you guys for another one soon, I guess.